What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it looks like we already have our very first weapon balancing change since launch with Cold War. And with this, it was a nerf to the MP5. So in today's video, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what changed and show you the before and after. So yesterday, Treyarch tweeted that they reduced the effective damage range by 33% and adjusted the initial recoil for submachine gun alpha, which is the MP5. So let's start it off with the change to the range value. Pre-patch, the MP5 had an effective damage range of 15.24 meters, and post-patch, it's now 10.16 meters, and this is reflected in the in-game stats. However, this doesn't tell us about the other damage range, because there is another damage drop-off for the MP5, so I did go and test this just to double-check, and also to see if this range value changed as well, and it turns out it didn't. This is the pre-patch and post-patch here. Only the maximum damage range, the 5-shot kill range, has changed with the MP5, the standard six shot kill range is still right around 20 meters. Now, as for the recoil change, I'll just show you guys a before and after test here. This is a pre-patch test, and you can see not too much recoil with the MP5. Now let's look at post-patch, and again, really not a ton of recoil with the MP5, but there's definitely more recoil. When you look at them side by side here, you can definitely see they've added more recoil, and you can see the total magnitude is just higher. You've got more vertical recoil on those initial shots. It doesn't seem like they've really touched the horizontal recoil at all, just the vertical recoil on the initial shots. Everything after that is grouped up pretty much exactly the same. And with that, that's it. That's all they've done to the MP5. Little bit of a nerf. I would say the range nerf is definitely a noticeable range nerf, and I feel like the MP5 is now in a better place without them completely destroying it. This gun is still a very good gun. I would still consider it to be an upper tier SMG. But I would say it's now more in line with the other SMGs, and it doesn't really stand out as much as being by far just the best SMG for almost any situation. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Super quick video today. I've got a lot of people asking when my gun guides are going to be starting. I'm going to try to get the first episode up either tomorrow or Saturday. So don't worry, they are on the way. I'm hard at work in the background. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what did you guys think about this nerf to the MP5? Do you think it was enough? Do you think it was too much? Or do you think the MP5 was totally fine as it was before this nerf? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time. Easy. Bravo Zulu.